Hello, snooker fans. Welcome to the Snooker Pro Club. I am Vilu Schulte, a TBC snooker coach. And here I have a snooker professional, Jamie O'Neill. Welcome to Kiev, Jamie. Hi, hi. Thanks. Yeah. How do you feel right now? Good, a bit tired. Long day traveling today, but yeah. Tables are nice, having a little practice, so yeah, yeah feel good. It's nice to be here. Yeah. So as for every professional, I, I asked, uh, what is your pre preparation for the next season? Preparation. Um, just basically keep working hard or harder even than I, than I had to to get on. Um, it's been a bit, last couple of weeks have been a bit weird because there hasn't been many tournaments and uh, I missed, well, we didn't miss the plane to Latvia. So I've, that that was my match practice and it feels like I haven't had a tournament for a yeah. few, for ages. So it's nice to be invited to this and uh, get some match practice in this weekend. So yeah, just um, hard work really, hours on the table and try and get some good um, games in against some other top players. Like seven years ago, I watched a match with Tony Drago once. Oh, uh, I was watching <laughs> the guy and he said to me, you know, I, I turned my head just slightly and then he said, get uh, out, get out of the match. Oh, that I was, match, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was watching, This is what, it was me, you know. Oh, it was you. I was so far. I was Tony, so, Tony said that. Yeah, I was. Yeah, so, I, I was laughing. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I can't remember what tournament that was. Was it the chair? I think it was qualifiers, something like that. Yeah. Qualifiers. Yeah, yeah. We had some battles, but yeah. It's, um, oh, that was you then. Oh. And you won the match. I think five four, something like that. Doesn't matter, but you won. I can't remember what I done yesterday, let alone <laughs> seven years ago. Okay, but, yeah. but it's just a good memory. From yeah, yeah. Like well, seven years ago. Yeah, nice. Okay. So what you can wish for the youngsters to improve, who wants to be a pro, like what, what is your, I don't know, what advice, you can, advice? Uh, um, try and get in a good club where there's other top players. Um, if you can play better players than yourself, then that's always going to bring you on. Um, I mean, hours and hours on the table, really. Yeah. I mean, when I was younger, I, was, I used to live in the snook club. I used to do 12, 14 hours a day. So that's nice. That's sort of how you get do it. As long as you're doing the right things, maybe have a bit of basic coaching if you're at a young age, just to make sure that your everything that is you in the place. Yeah, yeah the, ba the basics are there, and then just go and practice it really, and do, just do as many hours as you can. Yeah, as I noticed, like lots of professionals have a slow delivery, like their first centimeter is very slow, and then you deliver the cue. So it mm. makes the cue, the shot so smooth uh, compared to amateur players, who, which they are hitting the ball hard. Yeah, a bit quicker. I mean, we we will do it under pressure. I mean, if you put a quick one in, they call it. It's uh, you know a it's bit jabby. Little, little twitch, yeah. And it's a bit jabby, and it's uh, then you get don't get the timing of the shot, and yeah, you yeah. can put side on and all sorts. So, so what is Jamie saying that when you're playing ball smoothly, you can put more balls, have bigger breaks, and clear the table all the time, like professionals do, like Jamie does. So. Yeah, so Jamie, maybe you can show your break or your like some timing around the table as you hit the ball. Yeah. Um, like what you what you like to exercise like for the timing. Time. I mean, uh, for timing. Snakes, it's break. Maybe break. Okay, break. A little bit more just break, break off for people. Just, yeah, just break. Just the break. Oh, just break. Play. Simple break, like yeah. balls in the simple positions and. Yeah, yeah I mean. I mean, if you watch, you watch uh, Ronnie. His his white balls. Well, all the best players, their white balls never, never. It's always close to the object ball. Yeah, it's like somewhere in the middle. So of the that's, that is the art, really. Yeah, and just leave, leaving angles and yeah, you know, like to try and not be straight. Yeah. Yeah, it's always you. Natural angles, yeah. I suppose with the with the cloths these days as well, how reactive they are. The the more middle middle of the white you can play, when possible, the the less chance you have of putting side on a missing missing ball stick or thing. It's a good advice. Just try to play center cue ball all the time because, of course, not all the time, but in most times, and it will make your potting and cue ball control much easier because when you're playing with the side. In some tables you can play good and some tables you can play bad just because aiming is a little bit different. I mean, so, yeah. like shots, shots like this, I've, I've been, I've been trying to improve on and playing, playing ball, playing ball off the cushion. Whereas years ago, I'd probably put a touch of right hand side on. Which, so how did you work? You did you use side right or you just keep continue to play like uh, center cue ball? 
I see Kyron Wilson's coach, Barry Stark. Yeah. He's been trying to sort of straighten me out and get me more central and Chris Henry as well. So what did he, um, he did? Um, just, it's grooving. It's a long story, but I used to sort of cue, I still do to a lip with a bit of an arc. So cueing across, that's what we call that. So I would aim there and then ah, yeah. across. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is under pressure, it's, it can be very bad. Yeah. But I'm still trying to improve it, but um, yeah, so like these shots, I'd try and play this playing, just playing ball on the other side now. So. Yeah. And then, and then have nice, of but, course you didn't import to the center pocket, so yeah, it, it so affects your... But if, you, if you're playing shots, if you're playing shots like this with a lot of side, with maybe right hand side. Yeah, so hoping so. side, basically, yeah. Yeah, something that can throw the white that way into the red. Yeah. Yeah, which pushes it. Yeah, thick, so, so so basically when you're playing your right hand side, so you can you playing the left, shots yeah, yeah. thick or or left. You know? Yeah, the more side you play on the on the cloths that we play on now, the more deflection the yeah. white has. So the, obviously the more uh, plain ball you can play around the balls is is less chance yeah, to be put. Because when you put, when I was playing on this star table, and this table yeah. like this table is better, and uh, the cloth becomes. Be, up uh, the side better More and here, reactive, and yeah, here yeah. it's much easier to put because the of yeah. course pockets are bigger and club is yeah we like big pockets <laughs> yeah <laughs> to you yeah yeah, yeah okay so, but these tables are nice so yeah so you're just trying to leave leave little angles and yeah. and uh, lead the white as close as you can to the next and, and play, also uh, playing areas so I played sort of I didn't know he was going to, but I played sort of in this area. For the three balls, four balls? So I could be up to four balls. So, so that's yeah. The main, that's a lot of it. You said very good thing because lots of people, when they're playing angles, they're using like a helping side, you know? Like uh, they get. So they're using like a helping side and they yeah. like on one some tables they are potting the balls and they are going to another and then, especially under pressure, they are like. Yeah. Oh, I mean, uh, overcutting or yeah, or, or missing thick as we call it. Yeah, exactly. So maybe you can tell us slight information about how you did. Like you, you put your leg on the line or your head was in on the line. Uh, what exactly? I've been trying <laughs> two things. I've been trying. If you enjoyed our video lesson, smash the like button, and if you are new, subscribe to our channel.